Hello there. So this is going to be a video explaining the lobby situation in TCM. Now this is mostly theoretical as I can't just open a lid and tell you word for word how the matchmaker works. So this is based on my experience and what I've observed, as well as my knowledge of matchmakers. Imagine that when you queue up, you are put in a void and the matchmaker has to find people to play with you. Now this can be people that are playing family, quick play, victim, whatever. And the matchmaker puts you all of you together and then says to itself, I did a good job, I will go make another lobby. The first thing that you need to understand is the matchmaker actually prioritizes making new lobbies over backfilling existing ones. This is kind of where the whole issue starts. You also need to understand that it actually gives priorities to people in parties, duos and trios specifically. The way it does this is that when it's making a new lobby, it's easier to first put the people in the party there and then start filling the gaps with individual queues or people, let's say that you have a duo of victims and then it pairs you up with another duo of another victim party. If you are playing as family, you can be in a duo or a trio and it's going to prioritize that. The problem comes when someone dies for whatever reason. More often than not, it's a family player. Maybe they had jury duty, maybe they went to labor, or maybe they were just being silly, it doesn't matter the reason. Dajun breaks the lobby because it puts you, it puts the lobby back in a queue. The way the backfill works is that the lobby is given a little flag that says you need a single player. However, because the matchmaker is prioritizing making new lobbies well, grabbing parties of people, your lobby is way behind in the queue until a victim leaves. The reason why a victim leaving fixes the queue is because it gives you two flags. It basically bumps you up in the queue because now you need two players instead of one, so that's easier to find for the matchmaker. This isn't exactly a bug, it's mostly like how the priorities are set for the matchmaker. This is also why queuing as a four stack causes problems, because you need three family players or three quick play players either in a stack alone or a combination of those factors to make a lobby which restricts the options available, so you kind of like get less priority. There are also other factors that influence how long it takes for you to find a game. For example, family players tend to be in a team, so finding solo queue family players is more difficult. The other thing is that there are overall less family players than victim players. And also, family players tend to spend more time in a master than a victim, because if a victim dies, they tend to leave and queue up again. If a family player kill someone, they still remain in the match until the match is over. So these three factors combined make it so finding individual family players is very difficult. So how do you solve this? Well, I don't know as I don't work with matchmakers on our netcode, but if I had to give a guess, I'd say give solo cube more priority and make it so if a single player leaves, it doesn't matter what, uh, which one it is, it bumps the lobby into the queue, like it gives the priority. And that should solve those issues. You could also go with the other factors, just make more content for family or just make more content in general so the game has an influx of players. Because the day it more often than not when there's an update, the game just springs back to life for like a week. So more of that and you'd you'd have a good player base. I don't know what to tell you. As for you, the player, what I can recommend to you is play with another person. Like, I know it's a band-aid fix and it's not always possible, but your queue will receive a lot of priority, especially if you're playing victim, especially if you're playing family, and it puts you into lobbies incredibly quickly.